Lucy. My passengers will laugh at me. But I have to be squeaky clean, huffed Thomas. So you'll just have to wait. I can't wait, grumped Percy. I'm a guaranteed connection. And he chuffed away. Soon, Thomas was shiny and squeaky clean. He felt more important than ever. But as the workers coupled Annie and Clarabel, they heard a strange noise. What's that? asked Thomas anxiously. His driver quickly oiled Annie and Clarabel's undercarriage. That should take care of the bothersome squeak, he said. On the way to the docks, Thomas heard the squeak again. He was worried. It didn't sound like his squeaky clean squeak. Thomas squeaked noisily into the quayside where Alicia Botti was waiting. The fat controller held Clarabelle's door open when Alicia Botti screamed. And she screamed and she screamed. And she screamed. She screamed so loud and so long that windows broke all over town. Definitely a colour at your order, said Gordon. Alicia Botti was cross. I can't possibly travel in a coach that riddles the weather mice. The fat controller was very embarrassed, and Thomas didn't feel important at all. Just